How's it going everybody? JP here. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a kind of a throwback old school type uh, video here on YouTube. Roughly two and a half years ago, uh, these type of videos were everywhere. Um, that's when I started on YouTube and I know even before that, years before that, these videos were all over the place. And once YouTube unjustly removed the video response feature, these kind of died off along with many other things such as contests and even, you know, top 10 lists because the fun thing about top 10 lists is to have other people do them with you. Um, so yeah, it, it, they still are around to a certain extent, but definitely not like they were. And I think when video responses died, the horror me community died a little also, because it just seems like people aren't as uh, in touch with each other, they're not as active in uh, communicating with each other, so I mean, I, I do miss the video response. Uh, so yeah. Dead by Dawn 93 created a video called Horror Movie Tag. I've participated in these before and in fact a lot of these questions I'm sure I answered before or at least variants of them. But I figured those videos were kind of old. I haven't done one in a little while. My answers may have changed and hell a lot of people probably have never even seen those videos that I made. Uh, so I decided I'm going to join in this. He basically tagged anybody who wanted to participate. I looked at the questions briefly, but I didn't write down answers or think my answers through clearly, so I'm just kind of winging this a bit. And I am going to tag two people, and I would like those two people to tag two people when they make their videos. So first of all, I'm going to tag Jeremy, aka NES Roller 22 and these were the first people I seen in the group page that I clicked on. Uh, then. I'm going to tag Matt uh, Cantor. So uh, both of you guys make a video response if you haven't already. So uh, the first question is, what is your favorite horror film? Hmm, that one is not a tough one. It's The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, of course. Anybody who knows me knows that's my favorite horror film. And God damn it, I don't know how it's not everybody's. Um, <laughs> I just love the film so much, and it's, it's, it is what I love about horror. So Texas Chainsaw Massacre, I could list off a million reasons why, but I've already talked about it a million times. So let's go to question number two. Who is your favorite Scream Queen? Well, that one is, uh, isn't very hard either. I don't, re you know, the more I think of this, the more I realize I don't really, like, have a favorite Scream Queen. Uh, I guess I do, but it's not a big part of, like, what I think. Like, I, I don't often think about my favorite Scream Queen like I do my favorite horror movie, per se. Like, I always go to, this is my favorite horror, horror movie, I love this horror movie. I never am really talking about my favorite Scream Queen unless asked, like, who's your favorite Scream Queen? Well, I guess it would be Danny Harris. Um, it's the simple answer, it's the cliched answer, but it's the truthful answer. So Danielle Harris is my favorite Scream Queen uh, and I think it more comes to her relevancy now and the fact that she's been in so much and she's a legitimate Scream Queen. Sometimes you see Scream Queens who only been in you know five or six horror movies which I guess that still makes them a Scream Queen but just by the pure volume of what Danielle Harris has done, a lot of bad, a lot of great um, you kind of got to give it to her, at least I do. So uh, the third question is, what type of horror film do you like? Now, I really like my favorite kind of horror film. The ones that I really, really like are the good ones. <clears throat> no, I'm just kidding. But the, I, I guess I'll go with this. I really love anthologies, but I'm going to go to a different type of horror film for this. And I really love slashers too, but I'm going to go to a different type of horror film. And this is one that I had a hard time of really even giving a name to. Like, what is this subgenre called? And I've, a while ago, or actually recently, I heard somebody call these type of films this. And I think it's, I think it's going to stick. I, I would like if people started referring to these type of horror films as this and it's kind of a new subgenre, at least it's a newly named subgenre, and that is contained horror films. Now what I mean about contained is stuff like 
Adam Green's Frozen, and Nine Dead, and Saw, the first Saw at least, and um, 247 Degrees Fahrenheit, and Hunger, and the list goes on and on, Cube. And the reason I like these films, and I'm, I'm really glad I have a name for them now because I could never really, I, I, I didn't know what to call them. So contained horror films, basically where characters, uh, a small group of characters usually are stuck in a uh, single location usually and they have to figure out how to get out of this location usually. That's pretty much how it goes. Adam Green's Frozen is a perfect example. Three people stuck on a ski lift. And the reason I like these films is because you instantly know the good from the bad because the good ones force the writer to create very interesting dialogue and situations because how the hell are you going to have three people stuck on a ski lift for 90 minutes? The, you have to create uh, good writing in order for the film to work and if it does if you don't have that good writing instantly the film doesn't work stuff like cube is a good example uh, these films I absolutely love because it forces the writers to to think creatively how am I gonna keep them there how am I gonna stop them from you know getting out of course there's usually plot holes but that's why the writers have to really work hard to figure out ways around these plot holes. And I've always really liked these films. I'm going into it too much. I could probably make a whole video on why I like them. Fourth question. What type of horror film do you not like? And uh, this one is the, the simplest of answers. I don't like the horror films that try to be bad. I don't like the idea of I'm going to make a bad horror film uh, because it's funny. I never understood it. I don't like the idea or the mentality behind it. I do understand, like, okay, I'm going to make it cheesy, but I'm still going to try to make it good. Like, I'm going to try. And the ones that, the, the films that when people say, the directors, when they're like, we're like, we were trying to make it bad. It feels like a cop-out sometimes because it gives you an excuse for your movie to fail. And I've always just really disliked that. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Question number five. If you were a Scream Queen from any movie, who would you be and why? I think the idea behind this question is, is who, who, like, how would I act? Like, which Scream Queen acted the way that I probably would? Um, I don't know. Maybe... I, I know that uh, Cody, or uh, I think it's Cody, um, Dead by Dawn 23, or 93, uh, he picked um, Heather Langkamp Nancy, and that's kind of the one I would go with, I guess. I've always liked Nancy, and I've always felt like she was kind of most similar to how I would react it, maybe, I don't know. Um, whatever you do, don't fall asleep. Uh, so yeah, number six, who is your favorite horror villain and why? This one's really easy for me, and it's your homie Jay Voorhees. Um, Jason Voorhees is, is greatness to me. Uh, I think he is miles ahead of Michael Myers in terms of iconic. Um, I know everybody would probably just want to punch me in the face for saying that, but... Uh, anybody who's a Myers fan hates when people put Jason ahead of Myers, but I don't know, man. That hockey mask is such a goddamn iconic thing, um, and uh, I, I don't know. I, Jason just is, is is something else. Now, Freddy, on the other hand, is is just really fucking unique, and you could never, I could never come up with something like Freddy, uh, and I don't think a anybody else would have either. He is purely... I don't even know where you would get the thoughts to create this character. So, it, it's really... Like, Freddy is, is really up there, too. Um, but I just... I think Jason is just so cool. I, I love his look. I love mostly all of his looks in, in the films, and he's just the character that I've always... Uh, been a huge fan of ever since I, I seen my first horror movie, which I I don't I th I believe it was Friday the Thirteenth Part Seven. Um, so yeah, next question: Who is the worst horror villain and why? 
I really don't know. Um, I would probably maybe say like someone in the like full moon universe, uh, just purely like maybe like the evil bong or something because it's it's not really a, like it's not practical. I guess I, I mean I I, I don't know. Uh, I do like those movies. Um, Killjoy in part one was pretty goddamn awful. Uh, but I do like them. I, I don't know. I, I don't know who I would put as, as the worst horror villain. Um, maybe overrated would be a better question. Uh, so yeah, next up, what is the worst horror film you've, uh, you have ever seen and why? This one uh, is Beneath the Mississippi. And the reason why is sometimes in the movie... The dialogue just stops. It, it drops. The audio drops. People's lips will be moving. People, it's like cuts out. It's so annoying. Uh, it's just the worst movie I've ever seen. Uh, and that that's a fact. I've not seen anything worse than that as of yet. So um, I think it's funny when people put, you know, stuff like Texas Chainsaw 3D or um, I forget what Cody's was, but it, it was a movie that I wouldn't even consider anywhere near the worst that I've ever seen. Um, I really hope his name's Cody, because if I'm calling Cody and his name's not Cody, I'm going to feel like an idiot. Um, yeah, but I, I don't know. I I, th I think a lot of you guys who t put these type of films as the worst horror films you've ever seen consider yourself very lucky, because I, I've, not, I've seen stuff that is literally a hundred times worse than Texas Chainsaw 3D. Um, so yeah. Next up is, which horror film do you think is overrated? Uh, that's easy, Shaun of the Dead. I think that's the most overrated horror film ever made. 10, what horror film do you think is underrated? Well, this one's also pretty easy for me, and I have a few different choices. Um, one is uh, The Blair Witch Project 2. I think The Blair Witch Project 2 is highly underrated. I actually think it's a great movie, and I love it. It's a great, great movie fun time and it's funny because Blair Witch Project considered by most is one of the most overrated movies ever and it's the sequel I consider the most uh, one of the most underrated but second I would actually go with Pumpkinhead because is as high of a status as Pumpkinhead has you know like everybody knows everybody who's a horror fan knows Pumpkinhead I rarely hear people talk about it I rarely hear people say like Pumpkinhead is my second favorite horror film ever um, or, you know, Pumpkinhead is in my top ten uh, favorite horror films ever, and it is in mine. I, I love Pumpkinhead. I think it's such a classic. The atmosphere is so thick. It's a great movie. Okay, next up. Uh, do you like horror spoof movies? No. Number 12. What is your favorite horror film series? Friday the 13th. This is easy. Um, I love Friday the 13th. I love all... 12 of the movies, uh, Jason X I have sometimes don't like to watch very often, I love Jason Goes to Hell, I know everybody hates that one, I love part 5, it's one of my favorites, part 4 is my favorite, part 2 is probably my second favorite, uh, part 5 might be my third favorite, uh, no part 6 is definitely my third favorite, but I, I mean I can do the top, my top 3rd 12 Friday the 13th films, really looking forward to the newest one, hopefully they don't, uh, you know, uh, mess it up too much. <laughs> Number 13. Name 13 horror villains slash movies. Chucky, Leatherface, Jason, Michael Myers, Freddy, and the Jin from Wishmaster. There is six right there, then I'll do movies. Almost Human, which is an IFC Midnight film directed for I believe about $40,000 or $80,000. Uh, really, really fun film. Definitely a throwback. I highly recommend it. I did a review for it on Body Bags. Nikos the Impaler. I've never seen it. I have a DVD copy of it right here that I won in a contest and it actually came without a disc. This happened a long time ago so I don't even know why I still have this. Um, the Jungle. I've still not seen it. I have a DVD copy of it over there. Uh, Vampire Lovers on Blu-ray, Scream Factory. I'm actually giving a copy of this away in a contest video that you might see before this one. So check my recent videos to see if it's up. Urban Legend. 
I have a VHS copy of it sitting over there. Why? I don't know. And let's see, I think I need like two more. Black Waters of Echoes Pond. Heard it's not really that good, but it does star callback to question number two, my favorite Scream Queen, Danielle Harris. And finally, Ghoulies 4. Ghoulies 4. So yeah, I think I'm going to add a 14th question, and I would like uh, to ask you guys, what horror film do you think best represents what a horror film is? My answer is The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I think it is the truest definition of a horror film, but I've always been curious to what other people would consider the truest definition of a horror film and what represents horror the best. So that is my video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.